Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video today. It's been a long time since I've made a video like this. This is going to be tearing down and looking through the APK for Minecraft Earth. I haven't made a video like this in a while, but anytime there's a popular game that releases like, uh, you know, Minecraft Earth for mobile or let's say a new Need for Speed mobile or some new game based on Unity 3D like a Streetcar Magazine or Street Scene or whatever that crappy racing game was. Anything like that, I make a video where I go through the files and I see if there's anything we can modify, anything we can mess with, anything we can data mine. So what I'm doing today is Minecraft Earth. It released a while ago, I know that, but it wouldn't work on my phone, so I didn't see a point in actually making a video on something that didn't work that I couldn't test. I have it installed on my new phone. I still haven't tried it. <laughs> I still don't know if it works. Uh, so this is a thing. But we're going to do this the proper way. We're going to open up um, APK Easy Tool. I'm going to select the APK. No. I'm going to select the APK here. Let's see, Earth. And we're going to decompile the entire APK. We're going to do this the right way. Every time I've done these videos in the past, I've just opened the APK in like WinZip or WinRAR. Or you can also use 7-Zip. I don't want to do it the wrong way this time. We're going to convert the classes to Smalley. We're going to make it the uh, Android manifest actually possible to read. We're doing this the right way. So we just got to wait for this basically to decompile. It will come out here, Minecraft Earth. And as you can see, we can kind of watch it happen. It's making the Smalley code right now of classes.dex and everything is done. Super simple. So these are all the unknown files. Um, keep is just here to tell Easy APK Tool to keep those files. Um, I don't know what this is. This is like an Apache server. Hmm. So let's start going through files. Uh, I'm going to close these files because I don't want to accidentally leak what I'm working on. So... Hmm, okay. Nothing important there, it looked like. That's okay. There is conscript here. Anything important here that we can mess with? Nope. Not even close. Cool. Okay, HTTP3. I know of this SDK. I see it all the time in many different projects, but nothing important there. Um, we'll start with assets. So there's the animations, they're all XML files. Looks like these would be possible to modify. Obviously, I don't think they want people modding the game. But this is also a good way to data mine. Ha <laughs> 666. Anyway, great way to data mine, see if maybe there's anything that'll come up in the future. Um, future updates and stuff like that. Screen animations augmented reality stuff. These are definitely not text files. Yeah, no readable text at all in this file. Image database. So it's an image database. Let's open that with HXD real quick for a hex editor view. Yeah, that didn't lead me to anything. That's what I expected. Retail example and the default. They're a little bit different. Okay, there's the behavior packs, there's chemistry, hmm, text, uh, ENUS is what we want. Chemistry Explorer, World of Chemistry in Minecraft. Ah, so that's kind of like uh, the learning version of Minecraft, where you can actually learn chemistry. Yeah, there's like the balloon thing, the ice bomb. You could definitely mess with these, I bet. I wonder if it's, hmm, wonder what happens if you make that spawnable. We're going to be having a lot of fun with this APK, I feel like. Hmm. 
Interesting. Has gravity? Ooh, that would be really interesting. <laughs> so I wonder if you can make custom behavior packs. That would be insane. Yeah, here's the content. Just list what you have. Your manifest file. It, ex it explained it and says what it is and stuff. Interesting. I wonder if you can make custom behavior packs. Loot table stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. The entities. Oh. That's just default Minecraft. Okay. Okay. There's an items.json. This is interesting. I wonder, I really want to know if like we can mod this and add things in. Or like change what it can do. Content, that's just the list of files. So those are not important, and the manifest is the UUID of it. We got to figure out how to do the UUID here is the one thing, though, I think. Because I think the game won't recognize it unless you have the proper UUID. Shit, I did not mean to yawn. Now here's the vanilla version and vanilla experiment. <laughs> experimental, excuse me. So there's nothing really too experimental. Yeah, there's nothing too experimental, but if we go back to vanilla, there's the entities, the trading, the economy trades. I really want to know how much of this is moddable. Yeah, this is just vanilla Minecraft right there. Excuse my nose, I'm so sorry I keep sniffling. My god. Um, oh... <laughs> oh boy. Ooh. Is there like starter loot? Hmm. This is really interesting. Cat gift. What can a cat gift me? Rabbit hide, rabbit foot, chicken, feather, rotten flesh, string, or phantom membrane. Wonder what happens if I change that to, like, diamond. Like, add one and say diamond. Like, diamond chest plate. Diamond sword. I haven't even played the game yet, and I'm already getting stupid ideas. Why would I do this to a cat? This is really stupid to do to a cat. Um, We'll do it to a cow. Oh, shit, no. Um, Yeah, we'll do it to a cow. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. So there's more to it than just that. Let's see. Maybe zombie we can mess with. So I can get iron ingot carrots or potatoes so we're going to change these we're going to add one diamond sword okay vindicator raids and shit oh my god there's so much in here equipment low tier items 
Huh. Interesting. <laughs> and then gameplay stuff. Fishing and jungle fishing. Okay, so that's just the loot tables. There's spawn rules. Let's see bats, for example. Interesting. This looks like something fun. Definitions, here's attachables, boat. Ooh. This is gonna, how have I not seen a mod of this game yet that's like absolutely over the top? Maybe people are keeping it quiet? I don't know. Persona, Alex, Steve, templates, let's see Alex. Hmm. Wonder what happens if I change those colors. Templates. Interesting. Recipes. Okay. This could be the place where we potentially like leak future stuff. Because who knows what's in here that we don't actually already know about. Like, let's see, what's, wheat is stupid easy. So you can do the hay block with nine wheat. I wonder if I can change that to one and it's just like, there you go, wheat. That would be insane. Wait, dragon egg. You can't craft the dragon egg. But, oh, it's not even in here. Diamond hoe, diamond sword. Sick diamond, diamond sword. And, oh my god, it draws it. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. Huh. So it knows that's the stick and it knows that's the... They coded this in the funniest way possible, I swear to god. Oh man. Let me look at pickaxe just to see what they... That is entirely what I thought they were going to do for that. Oh my god. So. Can I modify... Where is stone... Stone pickaxe. We're going to modify stone pickaxe. And make it say diamond pickaxe. Oh, God. I'm destroying this game before I even get into it. Oh, no. I really hope this doesn't work. I really do, because this could just destroy the game. Like, can I do dragon egg? Hold on a minute. <laughs> I was watching Minecraft videos. Um, Minecraft item list. I always forget the website itself. So I always... Oh, Minecraft IDs. There it is. It is literally just Dragon Egg. Okay. Um... We're going to look for Do they not have they don't have like TNT minecart. They don't have like a wooden wooden tools. They don't have wood tools. Need something stupid easy. Like where's a torch? I don't even see torches. That's weird. Um, we just need something stupid simple. Let's see. I could do like a boat. 
Andersite? Why would I make Andersite? Let's see here. Stairs, anvil, arrow. An arrow would be very easy to make. I want more arrows. Shut up. <laughs> Barrel, beacons. Oh, we could totally change the recipe for beacons. Oh, man. We could make it so easy to get one. How do you do count? Comma, and then count underneath. Okay, so we're going to make it so it gives you a ton of fucking beacons. Oh, my God. This is so bad if this works. This is so exploit-ridden if it works. Um... Get this bread. <laughs> Just, fuck it. It's a boat. Make a boat, damn it. Um, wooden shovel and planks to make a boat? What? Let's get this bread. Sorry. Um, I just want to make the dragon egg. That's all I want to do. Dragon egg. That's exactly what I thought it was. Dragon egg. And then comma 64. I'm very worried that this is going to work. <laughs> Spawn groups. Oh my god. Here's the raid stuff. This will be interesting. Easy hard. Minimum maximum. the event name I was hoping it would say like the entity names let's go with raid group six just to see what it is oh god yeah here it is evoker cool I really hope this doesn't work mojangles I love the name of the font oh my god <laughs> I'm installing that shit oh that's great yeah, I don't want to, oh, fuck you. Um, yeah, none of that stuff is interesting. Here's the GUI. Okay. The GUI? Jewy? It's definitely not Jewy. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. That's interesting stuff. That's weird. Detailed test screen. <laughs> So where's that? Detail test screen dist. Huh. Render. Here's Hummingbird. Supports MSA shaders. Oh, okay. So this is where you could potentially make the game look better. Materials bunch of bin files and stuff that's not important overworld render options for the overworld. oh wow okay you can have some fun in here oh yeah you could have some real fun in there resource you no way you can do custom I really hope you can do custom resource packs I would love to take a resource pack from Minecraft PC from Java Edition and put it over into uh, Earth. It literally says it's Xbox right here. Oh my god, it's even got the gameplay trigger still. Oh no, there's mine coins. <sighs> That's okay. Third party console, chemistry, EDU loading screen. So this is the mob model. This is all the stuff for that. So interesting. So this is all the stuff for the resource packs, like the chemistry behavior pack. Vanilla base, got it. Very cool. Very cool. 
Shaders. Can I have some fun with shaders? Trust me. Skin packs. I bet you can do custom skins in some way. Where are these linked to? It's nothing. It's just like standard and all that. Manifest isn't going to be important. UUID. Interesting. There might be a way to do a custom skin then. Oh, wait. Let's look at vanilla. Hold on. You can do a custom skin. You can 100% do custom skins. All you have to do is just replace all that. Boom, you're done. I can, I'll, next video on Minecraft Earth, if I figure out we can mod the APK like this, next video I'll put my actual Minecraft uh, skin in the APK. Now, obviously, like I said, I haven't played the game yet, so I don't know what you can do in the in the game and all that. I'm going to open up the game literally while I'm recording this video. Um, I'm also waiting for a text message. My girlfriend's probably going to be sad. Uh, another one of our snakes died. We don't know what's going on with our pets. Um, we've had two snakes die in the last week, and we don't know what's going on because one of them was not even a year old yet and the other was like two and a half years old but she had an issue with her spine not to bring down the fun of this video let's go back i have the content update running on minecraft earth ew stores they have realm stuff in here structures Ooh, custom structures. Are those going to be a thing? Uh, what's going to be the most common thing to see? Probably villages. Yeah, Minecraft Earth just crashed on my phone again. Try opening it up again. Armor, butcher... Let's see, can these be open this way? No. Okay, so those can't be modified. Action test. I don't understand why I can't play Minecraft Dirt on my phone. It crashes every time. I'm going to open up Nox, see if I can install it on Nox. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So these are just like... Huh. Interesting. Empty. Ah, uh, profanity filter. AIDS is gone. Close some of this so it doesn't overwhelm anything and get annoying. But we've erased the profanity filter. I will do the update later, Mr. Knox. Huh. Very interesting of how much of this game is just regular Minecraft, honestly. Watchdogs. Cool. to have Charles open for the internet to work correctly on Knox. So I'm going to open up Charles real quick. Once I get this compiled, go away, Raid Shadow Legends. I don't care about you. I'm sorry. Oh, whatever. So that's everything in Asset. Let's check the lib. Cool. Nothing special. That's what I expected. Original. Here's the res, the Smalley. Microsoft, Android, logging library, telemetry. Probably going to be com. Microsoft. That's all the App Center stuff. And then Mojang here. Here we go. Minecraft Earth and all it's glory smiley code's not all that great to go through kind of annoying um let's recompile this real quick
And we're going to keep original signature. Zip align it just in case. So now we're going to compile it to see what happens. Oh, I didn't know that that snake wasn't eating for some reason. So I guess that's understandable. Anyway, cool. So the APK is rebuilt. Let's attempt to put it on I don't know which one it is. Okay. We are installing it to Knox. I'll bring this over here. And I'm also going to network monitor Minecraft Earth to see what connects and what it. That lasted all of four seconds. I bet you it's because of the Android version that I'm on. Um, Minecraft Earth. Wow, it's only rated like three stars. You have to be on Android 8.0 or newer. Can I do that with Knox? System tool, system info. What's system tool? What's that do? Oh, nothing. There. How do I do it? I don't remember how to bring up the stuff to make another instance. Oh, maybe it's over here. So let me pause this real quick. I'll pause the recording. I'm going to see if I can make another instance and see what the newest version of uh, Knox Player is. And go from there. Give me one sec, guys. See if there's a way to emulate Android 8.0. So give me just a few more minutes, guys. Apparently, an Android 8.0 emulator is not as easy to create as, like, Knox App Player has it for Android 7.1 and stuff like that. Even the new update of Knox doesn't have Android 8 yet. So I did find a way to do it, and I actually might make a video on how to do it. Uh, it's something that I've done in the past with, like, Android 5.0. It's called Android x86. So I'm going to try to do it that way. Um, so give me another couple minutes. I know I'm pausing it, as you can see. Here you go. I actually finished downloading. I'm going to attempt to see if this works because this is a pre-made version, so I can kind of speed things up. And I'll come back to you guys and let you know if I got it running or not or if we'll have to do a new video sometime. All right, I'm back. Wow, this recording is half an hour long. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, this emulator is goddamn amazing. Um, I don't think I'm ever going back to Knox. Ever. This is better than Knox. And that really says a lot. But the one thing I need to do before we do anything is I need to sign that APK. Because this won't allow unsigned. Actually, it might. I need another folder. Lucky Patcher. I mean, I can do this off recording to see if I can get it to do it, but yeah, this emulator is awesome. But uh, it comes pre rooted, it's Android 8.1, and you need a pretty beastly machine to run it. I will say that much because it's definitely not for the faint of heart. 
I'm going to install this real quick to make sure an APK installs. Still going. Cool. And I just want to look at settings real quick. I want to see what happens if you... I'm a developer. Developer. Yay. Oh, it says the Chrome web view. Cool. No auto updates. I hate auto updates. USB debugging is enabled. Show taps might be enabled. I want show taps. There. There we go. All right, cool. So this emulator works. So I'm gonna sign the Minecraft uh, APK real quick, the modified one. We're gonna sign it. It should come up as quote unquote signed after this. Sign successful. Where is it? It's this one. Got it. Cool. So we're gonna open. Nox doesn't need to be open anymore. I will possibly uninstall you. It is that good. Anyway, let's go back to this. Install Minecraft Earth. Could not install. It is not signed. We'll try one click signer real quick. We'll just do MCE. MCE. MCE.apk. This should sign it real quick, and this should install it. I'm going to hope. But again, who knows? There could be something in the emulator that stops it from installing. Probably should have checked if it installs before I started recording again. My bad. Nobody said it was good at being a YouTuber, so shut up. It's installing. Sick. And we going to be in there? Oh, God. Um... Which way do I want to? I want to rotate right, probably. Come on. I'm sure you can do this. There we go. Although it's a little big. Oh, I got to remove the license check. Hmm. I bet you I can do that with Lucky Patcher. Yes. I have the loudest cats on the planet. I'll go with here. I think I can do this with Lucky Patcher. So give me a second, I'm gonna get this installed and I'll show you how to do it after that. All right, so like I said, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. So we basically open up Lucky Patches, go, Lucky Patcher, go to Menu of Patches, hope that something pops up, maybe I'm not switching away from Nox, god damn it, you know what, we'll just have a V2 of this video, we'll have a V2 of this video in episode 2 where I try the modded APK, because we've gone through the APK and I've definitely gotten it installed it's just the stupid license verification so i'll talk to you guys in a future video hope you guys enjoyed peace out i'm gonna pause this just in case though i'm gonna pause it if i get it working i'll come back and this ending will be pointless uh hey guys just a quick update i'm glad i left this pause because i got this android emulator working it was very difficult very much a headache i had to you know, and delete and just restart straight from the zip file multiple times. But now that we are up and running with it, 
I will make a video in the future on how I got it working because even the video that I found the download link of this pre-made emulator on because I'm a lazy ass didn't explain it very well. So I'll make a video in the future on this Android 8.1 emulator. It's very nice. It works very well. I got Minecraft Earth working on it and I will show you guys how to do the license verification removal later. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that it is working. I'm waiting for it to update so the game can launch and we'll go from there. So I hope you guys have a nice night. Peace out. Expect episode two to see if we can mod the APK.